Hello everyone and welcome to another Star Wars Old Republic video and in this video we're going to be looking at new cartel market items that will be coming sometime like near patch 5.9.1 we could see them as early as this Tuesday or sometime spread out throughout the week and what you're seeing on the screen right now are actually older 5.9 data mined items I'd made a video on these earlier we hadn't we haven't seen at least like 90% of them come into the game which means they're probably going to come alongside these items. So that video combined with this video will form a kind of complete picture of what you can expect. And so if you haven't already seen that video, go ahead and check it out. I talk about like the mounts and the new flare and the new companion and stuff. But this one's gonna focus largely on the armor sets, which are actually really nice. So let's jump right into it. The first armor set we have here is the Freelance Hunter's armor set. Now this one seems to be going off of a design very similar to a Bounty Hunter from the Clone Wars television series. At least the helmet or the, the hat is. And it's a really nice unique item. We don't have a model like that in the game right now. So it's cool to see something new and different come in. I definitely see a lot of classes using that. It's a very specific look but it looks quite nice. With regards to the rest of the armor set, I feel like I need to look at it in game to, to get a more complete and better picture. But just from the first look, I think it looks quite nice. It's a really well-designed armor set. Let me know what you guys think. One thing I do want to mention is it does seem as though a lot of these cartel market items are going off of the new solo theme because they did mention in the roadmap that we were going to get a lot of solo themed items because of the new Han Solo movie being released. And so the freelance hunter as a sort of kind of, you know, bounty hunter uh, person, I guess it's kind of going along that theme. The next one definitely is as well. This one is the Sly Operator's armor set. A really nice looking armor set as well. I think it's well designed. Uh, definitely kind of coming at me like kind of like a silver armor set. Not really as good as gold. I don't, not really digging the goggles. I don't think those look quite too nice. I think the highlight here is the upper body armor is quite nice. It's got that kind of um, smuggler look to it, which I think is going to appeal to a lot of people. So I think this is a decent looking armor set as well. The next one I'm quite excited about, this one is the Charismatic Mandalorian's armor set. And I like this one for a number of reasons. I actually really like the color scheme. I think the orange color scheme, color scheme is quite cool. And one thing is, it's obviously meant to be a Mandalorian armor set, but I also think it could work really well with some troopers. I think the helmet, at least, uh, looks kind of like a Republic Commando troop, uh, trooper helmet as well as the Mandalorian helmet. And one thing to notice is it does seem as though this has a visual effect associated with the helmet where you get this kind of cool red laser thing showing on your uh, left eye. So that one's actually really cool. The upper body armor looks good. All the other accessories of the armor set look nice. So it's just all in all a really decent looking Mandalorian armor set, which could also apply to other classes. So I think that's a really nice one as well. And then the final one here is the Wasteland Crusaders armor set. I think this might be loosely modeled off of the Vin Atreus's armor set. Maybe not loosely, I think it's it might be like a, a, a reskin model or something. It's nonetheless a really nice looking armor set. Um, the helmet, I feel as though, is kind of... We've seen similar stuff in game, like the Dynamic Paladins armor set and stuff. But, um, but with, with regard to the upper body armor, the boots and the pants and stuff, it actually looks very similar to the Horizon Guard. Like, the color scheme is kind of similar, the design is kind of similar. But what makes it different or stick out is that um, it's got, like, the cape and other things that kind of make it different. So I just... I really like the Horizon Guard's armor set, so I quite like this one as well. So all in all, I would argue these are four pretty well-designed armor sets. I mean, I could see uh, the Mandalorian, the Crusader, and the first one that I talked about, the Freelance Hunter, all being gold armor sets. The only one that I really see as silver is the uh, Operator one. So all in all, really nice, well done. I, I think those are really awesome. Now, with regards to mounts, we do have one mount here. This is the Skirmish Zeldrate. Now, this one is a really funky-looking mount. I mean, it's, a, it's got just a general Zeldrate model, but what makes it really different is that headgear. It's got, like, those two horns and a huge headpiece and it's also colored red and stuff it's a pretty cool looking mount uh i i see them putting this as platinum even though it's not really a platinum worthy item with like with the cybernetic varactyl and stuff i could see this being i could see them putting this uh, as a platinum item nonetheless it shouldn't cost too much on the cartel market is it worth getting not really um it's not different enough like the hollow rancor is a different mount you know like um like really unique is what I'm talking about. This is, is cool, but not really that unique. Um, now with regards to weapons, this is where it gets really cool. Here we have the Gathering Darkness lightsaber. Now, the hilt is all we really have an image of right now, and it's a really nice looking hilt. A lot of people have been saying it's very similar to like Tulak Horde's um, lightsaber and stuff. It's nonetheless a really well-designed, really good looking hilt that is no doubt going to be a platinum item. 
unfortunately we don't have a good look at the actual lightsaber so we don't have a good look at what the um, effect is on the saber is it an unstable saber I mean it kind of looks like it but also you know we can't make a make a really good guess at that we really need to see what it looks like in game so that's unfortunate we can't uh, I can't we know we don't know about that right now but what we do know is it's a really nicely designed looking hilt I'm just hoping that the saber isn't too thin it's really coming across as thin in this image and I really hope it doesn't because the thin blades really don't look good in game usually you need a, a thick looking blade to really have a, a good look and stuff anyways that ends the weapon and then finally we do have some personnel bundles which I'll show you guys here and so these seem to be just some sort of party once again smuggler themed personnel bundles coming in so you can decorate your stronghold and you know that whole cantina vibe and stuff and there's also kind of a, another really cool looking decoration bundle with decorations I haven't seen before that's the third one I'll show you here and so these are actually really cool looking decoration bundles the last one which was the like Jedi Knight and Sith Lord personnel bundle was actually really neat I checked out a lot of those decorations and they were really well designed so I'm betting that these are going to be pretty nice as well anyways that concludes the new cartel market items here we kind of have the really good stuff the armor sets the really cool weapons some really nice decos the other video I talked about earlier at the start is kind of more some of the mounts and um, the flare and stuff like that so go check that out if you haven't already I hope you guys enjoyed the video and as always let me know what you guys think in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in the next one